think it took me like four world championship titles till I believed I'm actually good, <laughs> you know. <laughs> We here in Zegmarit got a flat since uh, two years. I've had lots of camps here um, where I train through summer. It's absolutely beautiful, and it's uh, pretty much my yeah my second home. If I need to get ready for the for the big races, Kona is, in my opinion, the hardest race um, out there in the long distance. When I'm thinking about going back there, it's it's these mixed feelings about joy and you know excitement, but also respect and thinking like okay I, I have to work hard because I never ever want to raise Kona not fit. You prefer early mornings or evenings? Training or oh, clearly evenings. Everything. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No I'm not I'm not really a morning person at all. I've done most of them. <laughs> Which is your favourite? I like the volcano. It's just hot there. And also the, the epic climb. I've always been an indoor freak. I, I, no one really knew, I never really talked about it a lot. I started using Zwift um, last winter. Yeah, Jan kind of got me into it and I loved that you can actually, like you can trick your mind. You know when you start and then you, you want to finish the climb and then you're, when you're on the top of the climb, I always want to go down because that just gets you the case so much easier. <laughs> so suddenly I, yeah, I started doing three hour rides and I didn't even notice it. I'm a lot about efficiency. Um, I want to get it done. Because I also don't really train with watts. So for me to actually also see the watts was uh, surprising. I know which session make me good and there's about 10 of them. I do feel like I trained maybe even harder through the winter, um, uh, which helped me definitely to get in a good shape. In, in Dubai, I rode uh, one of the fastest times I've ever rode on 90K. I'm glad I finally switched to Swift. I feel really good in the time trial position now and also in St. George, I, I felt really strong through the second part of the ride. For example, when I'm training and I'm in the bars and I feel like I would like to go up, I'm trying to <laughs> say if I'm staying down, in that hard part, that's where, what I need in Kona. And if I know I did everything I could to be ready for that race, it's, it's, such a, it's a much better feeling to be on the start line. Yeah, one more good thing is you don't have to count the reps, because I always miscount them in swimming. So here, on Swift, it's just easy. It will automatically tell you when you're done. <laughs> You can just switch off your brain. <laughs> You're kind of cleansing your body because you sweat everything out. So good thing to do after when you're having a hangover as well. <laughs> Sometimes I feel like I'm outside, you know, because you have the like you have the, the virtual um, climbs and you see the snow and then the nice uh, dinosaurs, <laughs> you know. I live my, with my sister at home and she's actually she loves to game. And uh, so she's doing the gaming and I always felt like I have my little gaming room now as well, <laughs> which was quite fun. Just do a, um, a 20 minutes run um, just after the bike. Um, so get the, get the legs going for the week. I had a really bad foot injury in 220, beginning of 220. I had some doctors that told me I will never run again. It took me two years to actually run without pain. I worked quite hard in these two and a half years and I felt like some people were thinking I was not really working hard and some people didn't really respect me as much anymore and that was motivating me to, to prove them wrong. <laughs> That's Joel. <Yeah. laughs> That's my brother. What was Daniela like as a sister? Oh, she's really nice. Shall I leave okay. so you can say the truth? <laughs> the best day of my life. Oh, that's a hard one. I would say definitely with friends and family. That's something I, I really, really enjoy. She had so much achievements, so it's difficult to say what was the proudest moment. But I think when when she won uh, in 2018, when she was stung by the jellyfish, I think that was one of, one of the biggest achievements. I'm very proud what I achieved and also achieving goals is something that makes you satisfied but not necessarily happy. I never wanted to become a world champion, ever. It just 
happened, which is wrong, of course. It's not, it didn't just happen, but it was not my, it was not my life goal. I, I think I was someone who often ignored what I actually wanted. I just went. I met someone and then I fall in love. And when I came out uh, last year, there was nothing I had to hide anymore. I'm less scared now what people think. I had my best performances when I felt free. That's where I found actually much more peace with myself. For me, the last time I was in Kona was in 2019 and that was after a race where I couldn't perform how I wanted um, because I was sick. For a very long time I had this uh, inner motivation. I was like, okay, I want to go back to Kona and smash it. And winning Kona would be meaning a lot to me. It's a big goal for me since Saint Short. It's been way too long, so I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to the vibe, um, the island. After, let's say, in 2019, not, go, not everything going perfect. Yeah, it would mean a lot if I could uh, switch the memories back to uh, the winning memories.